Eric, it's a real pleasure having you here today. Thank you for taking the time for the interview and sharing your knowledge uh, in the data innovation area. Uh, before we dive into the questions related to your presentation, maybe you can give me a little bit more information about your background and area of expertise. Okay, so I'm originally a physicist. I was working in, uh, was not working in particle physics, but I did a particle physics uh, master's degree and I have a degree in, um, in uh, business studies too. So I was actually I really wanted to do a PhD in particle physics. Yeah. And I was at uh, you know, CERN in Geneva for yeah. a while, uh, uh, searching for um, the Higgs boson yeah. in yeah. 2012. Um, but then, at the same time, I was working for Klarna with these models. Yeah. And I got more and more into data science. And I, I really, really started to love data mm -hmm. science. So I've been working there for seven years now. and. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I have my, I'm running my own team now, and uh, uh, it's, um, it's a really, really interesting business, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, today at your presentation, you talked about backend design and how that empowers data science, yes. deriving from your experience at Clarna. Exactly. So, uh, what is your recommendation for companies that actually want to empower their data science through backend design? Yes, so I think that a very, very important point is to start with the problem. Um, think about what you want to do before you set out on building a Hadoop cluster in the cloud, mm. for example. Um, think about the problems are, think about what arch architectural uh, consequences that problem, that solution that you're looking for is posing. Um, and data science and architecture is very, very integrated. So uh, I think for big companies, um, think about the data structure. Invest in your data structure. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do good data science. Yep. Otherwise, you're going to have data scientists that are more like data engineers and more uh, not doing machine learning. Yeah. Which, so, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you actually create an environment with short time to market for machine learning models? Yeah, so you do that by... Uh, that, that will be different for different comp companies, right? It's very, very domain specific. Yeah. But in the Klarna case, uh, we uh, we had to think, rethink our infrastructure, and we had to start working more, uh, you know, in an agile way, yeah. um, working with version control, work with unit testing, um, set up our team, working in sprints delivering fast, uh, like a lot of people have been talking about like failing fast and so on. Yeah. It's really, really true. Yeah. Uh, you have, and it's hard to do in uh, data science because uh, projects tend to be very, very long. So setting up the project in smaller parts and mm -hmm. delivering value incrementally is very important. So to have the right pace of uh, transformation, sort of, say, not to burn out too early. Yeah, yeah. It, more like uh, if, if you get to a uh, so when you start developing a machine learning model, um, you, you almost never know the value before you start. Yeah. So it's like a catch-22 situation. Uh, but what, what you want to do is to set up the project in a way uh, so that you can, can continuously integrate a pipeline or something yeah. like that um, and work on that pipeline to create models that are better, that yeah. you know, incrementally become better. Yeah. That way you can deliver something fast and you can also see what the problems are yeah. very, very fast. So you can, then you can backtrack and yeah. maybe work on your data models. Mm. Proactive, uh, let's say, be proactive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to fail after six months of you know, yeah. doing something. You want to fail after six days of doing something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> six hours. <laughs> yeah. Even better. Yeah. So what do you think we can expect in the nearest future, next 12 to 18 months? Sorry. What we can expect in the nearest future, in the next uh, 12 months? Specifically in uh, data science? Yes. In uh, I think there is a lot of, uh, go, there is a lot going on in data science currently. Uh, neural nets is a big thing. Uh, and applying neural nets in business, I think, is uh, uh, not the next big thing, but maybe the next one mm. after that. Uh, 
it's still on a very, very scientific and research level. Uh, I know that Google are doing a lot of things, um, but deep learning, uh, definitely. And um, otherwise on the business side, I mean, everybody has mentioned it here today. I mean, obviously collecting data from new kinds of sources like IoT, for example, and you know structuring data in a good way all of these consultancies are doing this now and you have cloudera and horton works and a lot of companies are working on that uh, the google platform i think is extremely interesting uh, what they are doing with uh, like machine learning apis and so uh, so on I, I, there's so much going on it's yeah. really hard to paint a picture I, I, <laughs> you know it's a challenging and exciting future ahead of us yes so uh it has been a real pleasure talking with you today. Thank you again. Hope you enjoy the rest of the event.